you take up the whole sidewalk. Rude. Disrespectful. Hey everyone and welcome back to another Gacha Life mini movie. Today's story is called The Necklace That Decides Your Fate. I'm gonna leave the link for the original down in the description and if you wish you had a necklace that would determine your fate do make sure to leave a like on it. Let's try and hit 5,000 likes. And now, let's get into the gacha. In this world, a necklace decides your fate. You'll get said necklace at birth. It's chosen at random. I kinda dig this idea. Imagine everybody has their own necklace. Kinda like we're all matching, but we're not. All of the colors, personalities, and fates. Ooh, we get to learn about them now. So we have pink, rude, full of themselves, usually popular, fate. Secretary or assistant? So I'm guessing everybody who's a secretary or an assistant is not a very nice person to be around. If you were given a red necklace at birth, it means that you're outgoing but mean. And you're gonna end up working in some sort of store. If you are born and given a green necklace, you're gonna be annoying, but you're outgoing and you're pretty dumb. And in life, you're gonna end up working for somebody, which is what you do in every job. If you receive the purple necklace, you have a smart mouth. I don't know what that means, but okay. You also don't like people and you have limited friends. You work from home because you don't like people. Why is this literally me? Hello? <laughs> and it's purple. One of my favorite colors. I feel like this personality was made for me. I don't think I'm very smart though. The blue personality is shy, smart, typically has social anxiety, or they just don't like talking to people. And everybody who's born with a blue blue necklace for some reason ends up working in the medical field. Guessing that's because they're very smart. Now we're moving on to the orange personality. They're outgoing, nice, a lot of people love them and they're so good to have as a friend. They'll end up as a YouTuber or something that's highly paying, so a doctor, lawyer, etc. Okay, maybe I was being a little harsh on myself and I would end up with the orange personality, you know, because I'm a YouTuber. White. A cool thing about white is that their personality can be anything. They're gonna end up owning a company. They could be the president or something official in the government. They are very important people. White is the highest tier as white reflects all of the colors of the rainbow. I love how the creator of the story doesn't know and we should just go along with it because it's gacha and it doesn't matter. And that's why white's personalities can be anything. A white necklace is extremely rare. There's only a handful of whites in a single state. Everyone wants to be with them because when they grow up they're gonna be extremely rich because of their fate. And that's all you need to know. Since I'm the main character, you can guess that of course I'm a white. And I would say that being a white is awesome, but it's really not while you're a kid. I don't like being a white because everybody wants to be my friend for clout. But today, I'm going to a new school for a fresh start. Every single gacha story that I've read recently always starts with the main character going to their first day at a new school. I don't know why. <laughs> Is there nothing else these gacha characters could be doing? What should I do? We aren't allowed to hide our necklaces. Girl, enjoy it. People love you. There's so many people out there who want that color necklace. Girl, be grateful. I have an idea. What is your idea? I'm dying to know. She just walked out the room and then just walked right back in again. This is a fake necklace. Oh, <gasps> she's changed it to blue. The trickery. Now, people will think I'm a blue. It makes sense since my personality reflects a blue. If someone from my old school shows up though, uh, what am I thinking? What are the odds of that? Let's go to our new school. Yay. I've never seen anyone be so excited for a first day at school. She has arrived at school. This is it. My new school. Huh? What about this girl? Oh, <gasps> She's an orange. I need to be her friend. Oranges are so nice. The confidence. Look at her just strolling over. I could never. Hi. Hey, are you new here? Yeah, I'm new. Well, welcome to Yats High. Good thing you ran into me out there. 
I was about to go inside. Anyways, I'm Susie, the student council president. Wow, that's cool. So, um, could you show me around? Oh, hello, who is this boy? I have completely forgotten, by the way, all of the personality traits, so I have no idea if he's gonna be naughty or nice. So, um, could you show me around? Of course, that's my duties. Uh-oh, why does she look shocked? She not like this boy? A white? Here? Hi, may I help you? You can help me by moving. You take up the whole sidewalk. Rude. Disrespectful. He heavily reflects red. Sorry, buddy, but there's plenty of space. Do you know what I am? I'm a white. Yeah, but you're not CEO of a company yet. So therefore, you have no power. Whatever. And off he goes into the school. Impressive. You kind of acted like a white. What? How? You went from a shy, nice blue to a smart mouth green, or maybe a rude red. She's smart. No wonder she's student council president. It's blue, clearly. You're not acting like a blue right now. Just admit it. I won't tell anyone. You can't fool this girl. She's too clever. She has rumbled you, dear. You're gonna just have to tell the truth. Fine, I'm a white. Your secret is safe with me, bestie. Bestie? Already? Well, yeah. You just told me your darkest secret. Yeah, they kind of have to be best friends now. Unless she wants the tea to be spilt. Let's get on with the tour. Wait, what's your name? It's Eva. Okay, let's start the tour. Oh my goodness, this school is pretty cool. I really like this girl's hair at the bottom. Oh, hello. A new character. Hey, Susie. Hey, Jessica. Who's that behind you? A new student. She's a blue. Babe. That's the girl you told me about? The one and only. But since when did Blues act like that? What the heck? <laughs> she just pulled her out of the way. Just a little bit rude. Hey, sorry Susie. Okay, what is she gonna say? I'm kinda scared. Stay away from Jack. Such a weak color. Lacks confidence and strength. Imagine being so mean to someone you've literally just met. I could never. She's a good actor. Was that really necessary? Of course. I'm not letting a blue get smart with my boyfriend. If only she knew. Hey, Susie, can I talk to you for a sec? Sure, make it quick. What's that girl's real color? Uh, what do you mean? I'm a white, so I can tell when someone's faking. What does your color have to do with that? You mean, you don't really know? Whites have great empathy. We can see through others. In other words, we know who's who. You know who's who? Yeah, and I really don't understand why some people hide their true color. You should be proud of who you are. Yeah, I agree. This also means I know who you are. Obviously, it's right on my neck. Whatever you say, Miss President. Oh wait, is she not really an orange? Hello? The T. I didn't know us whites could do that. Oh my goodness, she is as well. I can't believe this. Over the next few weeks, I acted exactly like a blue. I know earlier I said my personality reflects blue, but some whites' personalities can change. Anyways, the popular kids at school didn't seem to like me very much. A few months later. No way. Is she from her old school? Oh dear, this could end terribly. Val? Eva, get your butt over here. So, this is where you moved, huh? Yeah, but... Uh, why are you here? Susie? Why are you here? Why am I here? I don't know. I'm student council president and she's new here. Put it together. So, how do you guys know each other? Are you dating? Girl, why is that your first thought? No, we aren't. But I think a lot of people think that we are because we're besties. We are basically inseparable. We've known each other since first grade. That's nice. I wish I had a friend like that. Hey Suze, just because my OG bestie is here doesn't mean I'll stop talking to you. We can all be besties. She's right. I'm not the jealous type. I'm more than happy to be your friend. Yes, my besties are becoming besties. Guys, I have an idea. Oh no, what is she up to? Let's invite Susie and her friends to your party. Ew, why? So that we can embarrass them. Woo ha 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 ha. How are we going to do that? Hmm. I don't know yet. We have a week to think of something. Just you wait. A few days later. Okay, Eva is now going to bump into him. One of the mean kids. Welp. 
I guess I'm going the other way. Wait, I mean no harm. Come back here. Huh? Blues are so stupid. You're a feisty one, aren't you? What is she doing? Trying to kick him? You know what I like about you? You're different than I thought. Different? Oh my gosh, he's throwing her in the trash. Oh no, he's getting a little bit too close to her for comfort. Different, as in, you're unique. Jessica wanted me to invite you to- Oh no, here she is. Mason, what are you doing? Um, this idiot bumped into me. So I was about to teach her a lesson, but I- Ugh, be quiet, you dumb blue. Oh, sorry. You go ahead and finish what you were doing to her. How did he get away with that lie? I don't understand. You're that scared of her. Wow. Wait, one more thing. Eva, come to our party. You want me at your party? Thanks, but I'll pass. Ugh, just come, you dumb blue. You know, I'm getting tired of you calling me that. First of all, blues are so smart. Second of all, I'm not even a blue. Girl just exposed her secret to her enemies. I don't know why. That wasn't very clever, was it? Get this, I'm a white. Prove it. I will at your party a few days later. <gasps> it's time for the party. Okay, now prove that necklace isn't fake. How? Destroy it. If it's real, it'll glow white. I could never do that, you idiot. Then I'll do it myself. No, you can't just take her necklace. What the heck? No! <gasps> She's stomping on it. How could you? Now what's she gonna do? She hasn't got a necklace. It was real. What have you done? Oh no, she's so sad about it. Eva, are you okay? Eva is gone. What did you say? Her necklace was destroyed. So now she has no emotions. What? Oh my goodness, guys. Without her necklace, she's just this zombie. That is so sad. No individuality. So therefore, Eva is gone. I will be returning home now. Oh my god goodness. I hope this is just a joke. I didn't mean to. I didn't think it would. Oh, oh, wow, guys. The story just ended there. So I'm guessing she really doesn't have emotions anymore. This story was crazy. Anyway, guys, if you did enjoy it, make sure to leave a like on the video. And if you would want to watch another video of mine, you can click here and let's go watch it together.